Hi, my name is Josiah Fallon. Today I'll be teaching you how to make pour over coffee. In order to make pour over coffee, you would need a Chemex, a water pot with a spout, filters, and your favorite coffee. This is my favorite way to make coffee because you can get a more natural taste instead of a Keurig or a pot. As I mentioned before, these are your four items that you need to make your coffee. All right, first, this is your teapot. This is your chemist that we will be making the coffee in. These are your coffee filters. Coffee. And today we will be using Folgers Classic Roast Coffee. First, we'll start by filling the pot up with water and boiling it. filters inside the Kimmex. You use one, but I usually use two because using one is just flimsy. Do you like the taste of paper? I don't. First, I would advise you to wet the filter so you don't have that paper taste. And don't forget to pour out that water before we start. Now we're about to measure out our coffee. I like to use three tablespoons. Make sure to shake it to even it up. Another important step. We're going to wet the coffee and let it sit for 30 seconds so it can release the gases from the coffee grounds. Now it's time to make our coffee. Pour the water in a circular motion till you finish with the water, but give it a break every couple seconds so you let the water drain. Now it's time to enjoy your coffee. Be sure to grab your favorite mug. This is mine. Mm, yum, 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 delicioso. Hey, whenever you make your coffee, think of me. Cause this is perfect. Go get you a Chemex. Enjoy. <laughs>